Tired of your children inappropriately touching themselves in front of you? Well, introducing the Anti-Masturbation Cross. Safely train your children to keep their hands off their dangerous sin zones. No longer will you ever have your child sticking their hands down their pants while you're introducing yourself to a neighbor or at a local house party. And it's new and improved, probably. And your child will probably be very, very sad for the rest of their life. But who cares because they won't touch themselves inappropriately. Warning, this company is no longer, like, responsible or whatever for your child being depressed and trying to kill themselves because you strapped them to this fucking cross. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, um, hello everybody! <laughs> Welcome to, uh, Screw Out Saturdays, uh, playing Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Um, now, in all honesty, I am playing this game because I saw the Game Grumps playing it. Uh, that is a very, very, like, honest thing. And the reason I say that is because, you know, I saw them playing this game, and the only thought that went through my head was like, that does not look that hard. Like, it, it looks hard, but it doesn't look that hard. And I can tell you what a hard game is. I spent the last, not the last two hours, but like, two hours last night with a friend trying to beat the fourth level in Kid Icarus. Like, the original Kid Icarus for the NES. And that game is fucking hard. But this game does not look nearly as hard. And... They're three episodes in as of the time of me recording this, so maybe they'll get past the first level, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, like, it looks hard, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't look that hard, and I just wanted to see for myself, like, if it was actually super difficult or anything. Uh, I want the bow, because, like, from what I saw, the bow looked like, hands down, the best weapon to me. Uh, that's just me, and that's because, like, yeah, it does less damage, but at the same time, um, it... Like, it has a better arc. Like, like, fucking dog. Holy shit. Yeah, maybe this game is harder than I thought. <laughs> um, I'm kind of feeling like an idiot right now, because I was like, oh, this game's not that hard. And realistically, like, it still doesn't seem as hard as they make it out to me. Um, because, yeah, I have watched them play it for three episodes, to be fair. But, like, I feel like I'm already doing better than they were, like, half of the time that they were playing. Um, let's just jump up here. Holy shit, fireballs. Uh, dedicated jump arc is the hard thing about this game. Okay. I realize what- now- like, you don't realize- this is one of those games that, like, you don't realize why it's so difficult until you actually play it. I'm actually playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, and the reason that I'm playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console is because I didn't feel like going out and buying a copy or whatever. Uh, because fuck the gaming industry, <laughs> basically. Um, Shit, I was in a bad situation there, and I did, honestly did not mean to jump straight up like that. Um, I probably have pressed the jump button accidentally, and I know I'm only a couple minutes into this, but I've pressed it accidentally at least a couple times. Uh, that was not one of those times where I pressed it accidentally. Um, I don't know why, but to me it seems intuitive that the jump button would be Y, but it's B, as you can probably see in the options screen, like right at the very start of this. Um, I don't know if you pay attention to these sorts of things. I'm probably very focused on, like, the what the fuck is he talking about, the anti-masturbation cross or whatever. Um, I just saw that on the internet, and I was like, that's enough internet for me for today. Shit, I didn't mean to, like, not turn around. Die, dog, before you go and kill me. Holy shit. Uh, that was a really bad situation right there. I have a feeling that this is going to just be me dying over and over again on this first level. Um... Which, I'd be okay with that, in all honesty, because I wouldn't feel cheated or anything like that. Thank god the zombies do not hurt you when they're still in the cross, because that would be evil. And yes, I saw them play on professional mode today, because today, like, their third episode of the series went up, and they switched it to professional mode because they were basically like, yeah, fuck it, because I don't really want to play this game anymore. Um, wow, you have to hit that thing a lot of times to actually, like, kill it with this weapon. Um, but no, I think this weapon is, like, actually a lot better than they made it out to be, because they kept pegging up the fucking blue fire thing, and I'm like, that weapon is garbage. Dude, I totally jumped there. It just didn't register in time. Holy shit. Yeah, that was kind of my bad. Actually, pretty much all these deaths are my bad. See, the thing I like about Kid Icarus as a game is because, like, you, you totally feel cheated every time that you die. Like, literally, like, every time. Um... And the reason for that is because, like, half the time the way you die is absolute garbage. I want this weapon instead, because this weapon seems better. I don't, I don't know why I said that. It probably just does more damage. Um, but I was playing Kid Icarus last night, and you totally feel cheated every time you die. Like, literally. Because half the time- well, actually, that, that's a lie. Sometimes you feel cheated. Um, but the game stopped being fun when we came across the eggplant wizards. Uh, basically because, like, it was a broken way of artificially inflating the difficulty. Shit. 
uh, die, motherfucker, or I could just jump into you and die, and then I could be the motherfucker that dies, or whatever. Um, this might be pretty short, I'm just basically gonna go and play this until I no longer want to play it, and yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. But, but yeah, Kid Icarus last night is just awful, and like, once we got to like level 4 and got to the eggplant wizards, it was like, okay, I've had enough of this, because it, like, once you get hit by those eggplants, you have to go and you have to find a nurse. Shit, what the fuck fresh hell is this? Why did I go down here? Um, you have to go and find a nurse. I'm gonna sneeze! Holy shit, that was really awkward. And by really awkward, I just mean like really awkward sounding, because, I don't know, it describes it. Um, that was like frame perfect. I love how this guy's just like running around in his underwear too, just like whatever. And he's like, yeah, adventure, jumping, whatever. Um, I just love the way that he jumps, and I know they commented on that in Game Grumps, but they, they, they are totally right. The way he jumps is fucking awesome. Um, but... Yeah, don't, don't play Kid Icarus past, like, level 3. Level 3 was a lot of fun, uh, to play. And it took us probably about an hour to get past level 3, just because, like, it's really hard, and it's really long, and it's probably full of semen, just like Pit. Um, because, I don't know, he just seems like something that would be full of semen. Um, I don't want that dagger, because that dagger's very weak as a weapon. Uh, zombie motherfucker, get out of here, please. Uh! Uh! I, I feel like I'm gonna make that jump- that sound a lot when I jump. Just- just the- just the like, Ugh, I'm about to die! Ugh, holy shit! Ugh, I gotta poop! Stuff- stuff like that. Um, but no, I- my bowels have not been agreeing with me today, and that's probably not appropriate to talk about in a video, but I don't care, because why the fuck would I? This is the furthest I've gotten so far, and this feels like a kill screen! Um, that's pretty bad if your first level feels like a kill screen to somebody who's never played your game before. Um, granted, I have never played this game before, so I'm kind of a noob, but whatever. I do not want the blue fire because it feels, like, really shitty. And that's pretty much it. What is that weapon thing? Arrows. No, I don't want the arrows. I like this thing, actually. Dude, doggy. There we go. Oh, we're good. Made it to the wavy part. Now just run! Run like a motherfucker! And stand here and just wait for this thing to, like, destroy itself. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually made that jump. Go! Uh, oh my god. This is so nerve-wracking, you have no idea. Just come- come out, Mr. Eyeball Dude. Oh, that works. You could just die that way. Um... Cause I was dead this way! I was- that was supposed to be like a Lady Gaga thing. Like the- the Born This Way parody cover thingy. I don't know. Oh my god, that was like... Frame perfect! Uh Shit. Oh my god, did I make it to the checkpoint? I think I made it to the checkpoint. Cause I remember there- there was a checkpoint in this stage. And this... is... Okay, this game is a lot harder than it looks, let me just say that. Um, when somebody else is playing it, it doesn't look that hard. Especially when Nintendo Capri Sun was playing it in his LP of this game, did not look this hard at all. Um, whatsoever. Die, polyp thingy. Giant tubules of brain! And just come out of nowhere. Um, yeah, I was actually talking to my friend last night, um, and I've been... Like, I used to play this MMO called RPG, well, uh, MMO RPG called Maple Story, and if you don't know what it is, basically it's like a 2D sort of, like, hack and slash kind of game. Well then, I thought I didn't land on there, but whatever. Uh, I still have lives, and that's not a big deal for me to start back here, because continues pretty much mean absolutely nothing in this game, from what I've seen. Um, but no, it's, it's like a sort of hack and slash, grindy kind of, uh, like, Korean-made, uh, MMO, and, like... I used to have a lot of fun playing this game, Maple Story. Uh, probably more than is warranted by like a normal human being, human being, uh, because like I would go and I would play it for like hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and hours on end. Um, and I was talking to my friend the other day, and uh, I was like, "Yeah, I feel like playing this again." He's like, "Don't do it! Don't do it! It's a trap! Don't go back to the game!" And like the last time I played the game, I'm not 100% sure if I actually did do this, but I know I was planning on doing it. Um, I actually gave away all my shit, um, put up my, like, username and password on 4chan, and just said, like, here, change my password for me, please. I need to, like, stop playing this game forever. Uh, and that was, like, after my first year of university, so that was, like, three years ago, the last time that I actually, like, opened this game. And, uh, I think it was last summer, I tried to, like, play on a private server or something like that, but my antivirus was just like, yeah, I'm not having any of that. You're, just, you're not gonna bypass the antivirus, uh, and, like, go and play this game. So, yeah, like, I, I don't know what was the deal with that. I think it was just, like, the patch for the private server that I was trying to play on. Because, uh, basically what it is, it's basically, like, the game is entirely one giant grind fest. Um, which, I don't know, I sort of liked it at the time, but at the same time it sort of made me feel like a piece of shit. Holy shit. 
that felt awful dying there, but whatever. Um, this is my last life. I think this is my last life. Yeah, it's my last life. Well, whatever. Um, anyways, uh, I used to play this game a lot, and, like, basically, it was one of those, like, quote-unquote free-to-play games, where it wasn't really free-to-play, because there ha they had, like, a bunch of extra stuff that would help you in the game that you could buy with real money. Like, you could buy, like, times two experience cards and stuff like that, uh, that would let you have double experience for a certain amount of time. Or you could have, um, shit, I'm just gonna grab this, because why the fuck not? Oh, god, I did not expect that guy to start moving right away, but whatever. Um, yeah, they, they used to have, like, times two experience cards, and they'd also have, like, times two experience events. And at one point, they invented, like, a family system. Oh, you have credits in this. Holy shit. Oh, this, this just got real. Oh my god. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, th they had times two experience, so, uh, the family system that I was saying, like, it would let you basically gift someone in your family, and that was just somebody that you played the game with, uh, like, an, absorb an exorbitant amount of time, or just somebody that you could just walk up to and be like, hey, can I be in your family, or do you want to start a family? And just, like, like, literally, that was the process of, of starting a family, was just ask, walking up to some random dude and asking him, Hey, you want to start a family? I'll gift you, like, a times 1.5 experience thing. Because you could do that. Like, that was the point of the family system. That's how they sold it. It was like, yeah, um, if you are in a family, you can get times one and a half experience things by just, like, having your other family members online at, like, a given time or, like, for a certain amount of time or something like that. Uh, jump. Jump, Mega Man, jump. I shouldn't have jumped towards that guy, but I made it to the boss. Hooray! Whoa! I think I made it faster than the game grumps, so I'm kinda happy about that. Oh god! Uh, just kill- kill the giant fucking bird thing. Um, that's why I like this weapon, is because it seemed to, like, be easier to hit the- the boss with. Um, that may have just been me, though. Oh god, this fucking broken-ass dude over here. Did I just beat the level? Take the key for coming in. Oh my god, I beat the first level! Holy shit! Well, that boss was actually really easy. All I had to do was just spam the shit out of it. Um, let's see what the second level is like, shall we? Yeah, as I said, like, it's hard, but I don't think it's as hard as the Game Grumps made it out to be. They're like, oh, this is the most fucking impossible game ever. And yeah, I realize that, like, they're more so focusing on trying to be funny than, like, actually trying to, like, play a game really well. But at the same time, it's like... Fuck, like, it's not that hard. Uh, this is going to be a theme in this level, isn't it? There's gonna be this ghost following me the entire time, aren't there? This is going to really suck, isn't it? Oh god! Oh god, what the fuck? Oh, so it's sinking while I'm going through the level. Well, shit. Um, now do I see why this game is considered really hard? I don't know. Um, but, but yeah, like, basically what I would do in this game, and I'm, I know I've been talking about this for like five minutes and I've been getting absolutely nowhere about talking about this. I'm gonna get the axe. What the fuck? What kind of an arc is that? That's just so awkward. Um, what the fuck? Um, yeah, I, I, I would basically set myself up so that I could have six times regular experience for, like, four hours or something like that. So that I could basically just sit there and grind straight up for four hours. And I was actually, like, praised by some people at being really good at grinding. Like, there were certain maps that were, like, really, really big, and they had, like, a channel system on this game. So you'd have, like, 19 channels and basically, like, uh like, 19 channels on every server, so basically, like, you would pick a channel and you'd go on there, and there'd be certain people on that channel, or you could change channels at any given time. Basically, it would be, like, a fresh map screen. So there'd be, like, 19 of the same map screen at any given time. This is such an awkward arc for this weapon. Uh, I'm gonna get the bow back, because I like it better. And I might not be able to make it in time! Holy shit, run from the ghosts! Oh my god. Uh, fuck. That guy just felt like he appeared out of nowhere, and I felt like I basically just got hit for no reason! Hooray! For game mechanics that feel kind of broken. I didn't even see that guy. Like, in all honesty, I really didn't. Um, but yeah, I'd set myself up with times six, ex six experience, and I basically get, like, one of the biggest map screens in the game. And I don't remember what the monsters were called that I was killing, but it was, like, something... Some kind of zombie thing? I don't exactly remember. It was in, like, a Halloween-y area, um, and I was, like... This, this class that basically used, uh, like, lances, uh, and, like, went and attacked really fucking fast with a lance, and that's why I liked them, and they had, like, a combo system, too, so, like, um, once you reached a certain combo, you would get, like, attack bonuses, uh, and basically you'd have to keep up this combo, and I got up to, like, like, 120,000 or some shit like that of, like, monsters I killed in a row without, like, the combo running out, and I don't, I don't really remember what was the deal with it, but I just remember, like, the game, like, telling me, like, oh, you killed this many monsters without your combo running out, like, what the fuck? Dude, you have to jump off of that? That's kind of garbage. Well, whatever. Um, at least I know now. 
So yeah, I can totally not screw this up completely this time, even though I probably will, because this game is actually pretty hard. But I got past the first level, so I feel accomplished. Um, but I, I would be, like, praised by people um, who used to play this game, like, holy shit, like, how can you keep, like, this full, like, giant-ass map screen to yourself and just, like, grind? And, like, like the entire point of the game was just to grind endlessly, and that was basically it. Um, but, like, if you had, like, other people in your channel, people would always tell you to, like, change channels because I'm trying to train here, motherfucker, or something like that. What the fuck? I just got hurt by the chest. I don't think that's gonna do anything. I think I should just move because the ship is sinking. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I actually made that jump. I feel mildly accomplished with myself right now. I'm not gonna go for that treasure chest because it's a fake, because it's a different color. Uh, that one is also a fake. Go down, there we go. Don't sink on me, game. Cause DON'T LET ME DOWN! I do think it's kinda garbage that I got hit by a treasure chest, though. Um, maybe I can get something? I don't know. Oh, I was just about to say, please tell me that this is not a leap of faith. What fresh hell is this? Oh dear god, what is going on here? Well, that was bullshit. Um, I don't- I don't even know what I could've done about that. That was- that was definitely bullshit. Um, but whatever. I mean, it's, it's just the game being the game, I guess. Hooray for auto-scrolling. Everybody's favorite thing in every game. Uh, go get on solid land, shit! I want it on the solid land, why didn't you let me on the solid land game, why? And yeah, like, basically as I've been saying for the last like 10 or 15 minutes trying to get this story out, and I, sometimes I get so sidetracked with like a game like this that I try to tell a story and it's like forever, but the entire point of this is basically like I would, I would set myself up, I'd waste a bunch of money on times 2 experience, and then I would go and play this game like endlessly for hours and hours and hours and hours, and I would feel like shit afterwards because I'm like, well I fucking did nothing today, and I would like, play this game, and then, like, I remember, like, when my dad still lived here, he would judge me hard store, like, hardcore, and he'd call the game, like, Gaple Story that I used to play, like, all the time, and he'd be like, oh, you're wasting your shit on that again? Why don't you, like, go and, like, actually get a job or something like that? And little did he realize that I actually did have a job at the time. It's like, thanks for paying attention to, like, literally nothing in my life. But whatever. Um, I'm not here to spout about, like, daddy issues or anything like that. I'm just saying that, like, basically, that game is the reason why that I don't, like, go and sit down and play video games for, like, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on end. Um, that and, like, Guitar Hero slash Rock Band. Because I got, like, way too addicted to those games to the point where I'd play them, like, five or six hours a day. And that would be, like, all I would do when I come home from school is I'd just sit there and, like, play this fucking game. Um, oh, okay, I see how this works. Okay. This hopefully will not be incredibly difficult from this time on. It's going to be incredibly difficult. I want that treasure chest. Uh, I did not want this weapon. Fuck. The other one shoots better. I like the arc of the other one better. Uh, I want that. Holy shit. Upgrades for the win! Holy shit! Why am I talking like this? I, I honestly have no idea. Um, but yeah, like, I... Like, there are certain games that I cannot play for, like, an extended period of time. Like, MMOs, I, I pretty much determined that, like, the phase in my life where I played a bunch of MMOs is over, and I will probably never play another MMO again. But I've been, like, wanting to play MapleStory, like, for the last, like, month, and something inside of me says, like, oh yeah, you can play it, it's fine. It, like, because I heard from, uh, uh, as, as some of you know, like, my friend Melinda has a page that she runs for Game Grumps called You're Getting Grep, and one of the admins, Gypsy, uh, First of all, posts shit about, like, literally all of his videos, and he never posts anything about Game Grumps. Which I think is kind of garbage for a Game Grumps, like, esque forum thingy on a Facebook site. Um, I think that's stupid to be, like, an admin on that and not post anything about the thing that the forum thing's about, or the page, or whatever. Um, and second of all, he, uh, at one point mentioned Maple Story, and I was like, shit. And he's like, yeah, I'm getting back into it. And then he said, like, okay, it took me, like, three hours to get to level 70. And I was like, oh, so that's not really anything like it used to be. Um, because it used to be, like, weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of just solid grinding to get to level 70. And I remember, like, the last time I played it, I noticed that it was quite a bit easier to get to, like, higher levels. Yeah, but it wasn't, like, ridiculously easy or anything like that. Shit. Well, that sucks. Another game over for me. I'm gonna cry a little bit now on the outside, and maybe on the inside as well. Uh, I will give this, I don't know, two or three more tries. But after that, I, I literally just want to see what the boss is at the end of the level. That's pretty much it. Um, but 
But yeah, like, I don't know, I can't really play MMOs for super long. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on a video or anything like that. I know I mentioned this to one of my friends, uh, but another one of my friends, uh, his name, I'm not gonna say for privacy issues and stuff like that, I don't know. Um, but he, uh, got very, very addicted to this Maple Story game that I keep talking about. And, um, he, like, basically, as I said, it was one of those games where, like, it was quote-unquote free, but you could spend money on it if you wanted to, and, like, if you wanted to, like, basically get anywhere in the game, you would have to spend money. Oh, shit! Well, that is... awful, because I hate this weapon and the way it arcs. And this does, like, as much damage as the bow and arrow. What the fuck? I want another weapon, please. That would be very nice. Die, please, in a fire. That would... That's very pleasurable that you're dying in a fire there, sir. Good job on you. And whatnot. I don't like these homing fish. That's kind of annoying. And I guess the only consequence of getting a game over is A, if you get like six or seven game overs, I think it was, uh, then you have to probably start at the start of the game, or I don't know if it makes you start at the start of the level that you were playing, or what. Uh, and it drops your score down to zero, which, let's be honest, let's be honest, um, nobody gives a fuck about score in games like this. Like, I give a fuck about st score if it's like Star Fox 64, or Star Fox Assault, um, or maybe the original Star Fox. There was like a percentile ranking. Oh, what's the sickle do? Um, okay, I can only have one of those on the screen at a time, but it appears that it does quite a bit of damage. I want, uh, oh, semi-homes. There we go. Oh, that's, that's a thing that has happened, and that was also a thing that happened. Fuck. And I also died. Okay, one more try. I will give this one more try, and then I'm gonna end the video, because it's getting up there in length. And, yeah, I could- you know what I am thinking of? I'm thinking of fast-forwarding this entire video because I've talked about nothing. Like, it's literally been an entire video talking about absolutely nothing. Um, except fucking Maple Story. That wasn't a real try. I get one more. Um, I'm gonna fa- I actually am. I'm gonna fast-forward this entire video and, uh, suck it because that's just what I'm gonna do. And I don't care. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but I've been meaning to, like, try out because I've been- I've been trying to, um, like, in Pokemon Platinum, because I'm starting that LP on the 6th, which I think is Wednesday. Um, I have the first video rendering, like, literally right now. Um, like, it's, it's like 80% done rendering. And first of all, uh, those take a lot more effort to edit than, uh, the other videos on my channel. That is fine. I am okay with that. Um, where is the spot that makes the chest appear? Thank you. Shit. Armor. Or the worst weapon in the entire fucking game. Okay, yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, I'm done. Um, well, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, but as I was saying, for Pokemon Platinum, I was thinking of doing a couple episodes of, like, quote-unquote chipmunk voice, because, uh, there are some sections of that game where it's basically just continuous battling for, like, 45 minutes, and that's all you do is just be on one screen and just battle over and over and over again, and, like, that's all you do is just battle people, um, for a very long time, and I was thinking, like, maybe doing a couple chipmunk episodes of entirely, like, chipmunk voice, because it's funny, I don't know. The, the chipmunk voice is funny, but the, the like, auto tuny thing isn't. Anyways, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.